Hey folks, in this video, we got our trailer moved in down on the new homestead a couple of nights ago, but we don't have any electricity or water yet. So we came down to do a little work this morning and we built a fire and um, we're gonna cook us a little breakfast down here in a Dutch oven. So we'll get started. Got our fire going and I've let it sort of burn down just a little. And we'll go ahead and set this large Dutch oven on here and let it start getting hot. We'll prep our food. First step is to cut the bacon up and we're gonna put that in and cook it first so that it'll render down and we can use the fat from it to cook the potatoes. All right, we'll go ahead and put our bacon in here. I'm sure it's good and hot now. Oh yeah. I like to hear that sizzle. Sean is cutting us up a few potatoes to go in here once the bacon renders down. Check our bacon out, it's starting to sit down pretty good. Smells really good out here. We'll use that grease in there. We'll take the bacon out and cook the potatoes and the grease once this gets done. It's time to put the potatoes in there and let those cook. I brought a red pepper and I'm going to cut this up, or at least some of it. We won't use it all, probably just a little bit of it. And when the potatoes get a little closer to being done, we'll put this in there with them. I'm just going to cut it up into some pretty good sized chunks, slice it lengthwise and then a little cross. Sort of rustic. We'll check the potatoes, they're coming along pretty good. Stuck a fork in one just a couple minutes ago and they're really soft and I've been letting them just kind of brown up a little bit. I think I'll go ahead at this point and put our peppers in. We'll give those just a minute or two to cook and move to the next step. I'm gonna mix up a little flour and water and make some flour bread pones. When I was a little boy, my dad would fix these all the time. We just mix flour and water and we would fry them on the stove in a skillet. Sort of brings back some memories. I'm going to go ahead and take the potatoes and peppers out of here now and we'll get a little of this grease out and put in another skillet to fry our flour bread once this is done. But I'm going to put everything back in here with some eggs and cheese. I just don't want to use too much grease. I've got about three eggs I'm going to beat. Started with four, dropped them and lost them. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and put all the potatoes and bacon 
back in here. I'll just mix this up a little. I'm not going to worry about salt in this stuff because the bacon was pretty salty, but I'm going to hit with a little bit of this Bezel Cajun seasoning. Now that's our meat, potatoes, and eggs together. This is looking good. I think the only thing that we might be missing is some ketchup and hot sauce. And we forgot to bring that. I'm going to take this off the fire. All right, folks, now we've got our skillet with some bacon grease in it. I'm going to fry us a couple of uh, pieces of flour bread here, just some small ones. That get a little hotter, I guess. Hey folks, we've we got the food done and let me tell you it's hot out here and I think cooking over the fire definitely made it worse, but I'm gonna take a bite of this. We've got bacon and potatoes, red peppers, um, eggs, um, little cheddar cheese and we seasoned it with some Cajun seasoning. It's really good. I'm gonna try a little piece of this bread. I just fixed these pretty thin. It's really good. Folks, we're going to go ahead and eat this breakfast and uh, do a little work down here today. So I wanted to thank you for checking out the video. Hope that you'll subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you haven't already done so, and uh, come back and check out the next one. God bless you all.